Hi everyone, this is Marissa. Welcome back to my channel, Filipino Wife in America. Today we are going to talk about the entry requirements when you want to travel to the Philippines. I've been waiting for the time when the, that RT-PCR test will be taken away but so far as of now need to have the RT-PCR test taken 48 hours before departure. I am going to give you the list of the entry requirements so that those of you who are planning to go back to the Philippines, whether you are a green card holder Filipino or a foreign national for that matter or former Filipino citizens, so you have the guide. As of May 4, 2022, the requirements so far are still the same. I am Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video. As of May 2022, the requirements look the same since the Philippines opened up the country for foreign visitors. Fully vaccinated foreign nationals will be allowed to enter the Philippines without an entry exemption document. So this is what you call EED. <music> Provided they comply with all the requirements. You are considered fully vaccinated if you have the first dose or you have two doses and boosted. Fully vaccinated travelers are no longer subject to hotel quarantine when you arrive in the Philippines. Provided the travelers must present proof of vaccination and a negative RT-PCR test results from a test taken within 48 hours or a negative laboratory-based antigen test taken within 24 hours of departure from their country of origin. You have the option, you can have the RT-PCR test or the antigen test. Travelers also must self-monitor for symptoms for seven days after arrival, reporting to local government authorities if they begin to exhibit COVID-19 symptoms. This requirement is applicable to everybody. Additional requirements are, you should have the passport valid for at least six months from the date of arrival and a return ticket going back to the country of origin. You should have a valid ticket to depart the Philippines within 30 days of arrival. Finally, each traveler must present proof of travel insurance purchased before arrival in the Philippines. The insurance must cover the COVID-19 treatment and have a minimum coverage amount of 35,000 US dollars for, for the duration of the traveler's stay in the Philippines. Yes. Next requirement is all travelers arriving in the Philippines must complete a Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ e-health declaration card or EHDC, including children. So how can a traveler do this? Travelers can register up to three days in advance of their departure for the Philippines through the BOQ's One Health Pass webpage. Yes, so remember to save a copy of your transaction number and your QR code which will be required upon check-in. Yes, so this QR code is the requirement which you yeah. are going to check upon arrival. Or this is how the One Health Pass is done when you register.
So here's for you. Unvaccinated travelers are not allowed to enter the Philippines. So those are the entry requirements as of May 2022. If you have questions, leave your comments down below. You can also check out my other videos on my channel, Filipino Wife in America. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on my next video. Bye!